Hey, when is Louise with Louise McKee Art? And I'm back for another uh, Charlotte. And I'm just resuming because I've already done one and I really like this color palette. So I think this is worth sharing with everybody. This is the start. I'm starting off with my pillow, which is just a culmination of strained scraps. I'm calling it my tan base. I've got my blue, and this is my tan-ish pillow base. So that's there. So what I've got for colors, I will list everything in the description. And I'm kind of a mismatch here because I'm just picking up right in the middle. This is my Kaput Mortem Violet and Black combination, which I just really like this. I like this color. And I've said in a prior video that I like to put Mortem Violet just anyway, but combined with the black, it just makes it feel so, so seasonal. You know, I see these trees that have this kind of color as it's turning. These leaves are so deep and beautiful. And that's what that reminds me of. So that was my... Um, Whitehaven with Prism Pores, uh, Chantilly Lace, and Golden's Iridescent Pearl. This is my TLP Sea Glass. And I know there's something else in it. I'll look in a second. That is Sea Glass with Artez's Pearl sea green. This is my Golden's Iridescent Silver. Straight up, no mixtures, because it stands on its own. I was debating between using gold and silver, and I ended up with silver, and it just seems to go best with this color to me. And then here is my black, Golden's Iridescent Black. I'm sorry, iridescent black. Golden's carbon black. Now, I don't know if that was a goober that just went in there. I might have to do a little fishing expedition before I... There she blows. Let's see, was there something in there? Yes, look at... I don't think I'm fishing out of here. You have to be observant. <laughs> you have to see what's going on. Cell Activator, American Flow Troll, video 141. I swear by it. That is the white. This is the black. Here we go. Look at that. Oh my lord. Every once in a while, that song for Meatloaf runs through my head. Stop right there! Before you...
you go any further. Very pretty. I am really curious to see how this is going to come out. I've got a lot of black. Inaugural whirl. It's so fun. I should have recorded the other one. But I think this one's going to be even prettier. But this time I'm making two of the same palette. So I'll show both of them when we're done. And these also, you know, you don't charge a whole lot for these guys. But I'll tell you what. These are popular. They are popular, and I am very lucky to be in the store that I'm in downtown. I'm going to leave those white spots because they look kind of cool, but they're probably going to stretch off anyway. We'll see. And it's not really white. It's my off-color base. You know... There are no rules. Just because you have white spots doesn't mean you have to get rid of them. Although if you have air bubbles, you do want to get rid of those because they're going to pop and it's going to be unpredictable after that. Mm. That black? Where's the C-class? It's gone. The C-class disappeared. Oh, wait a minute. There's a tiny bit of it. Oh, wow. That color got murdered. Hmm. These colors are overpowering it. Oh, I see it coming through even more now. You know, I don't even remember seeing it on the other one. It's just kind of hinting in here. A little more stretching. I don't like this little spot. A little more whirl on that one. Yeah, it's just a rich looking color combination here. It's the little blushing green in there. It's like, where did it go? And a couple white spots on the side I'd like to get rid of. Yeah, I think I need to spin it a little more. barely have anything, but let's just give it a little more spin. Where she stops, nobody knows. Give it a cheat to one side. Cheating that side, I'm going to help centrifugal force push the paint that direction. And then this will be it. This will be it. I promise. I promise. 
I do hope you guys stay tuned through most of my videos because I do try hard to keep them short. Oh, white spot. All right, I think this is done. Make sure my edges or sides are covered. Gotta be careful with this guy. Here she is. Very pretty. So everyone, that's a wrap. These are fantastic for gifting. Fill it up with what you would like to give to somebody and then give it as a gift. They get the contents and the keepsake. So I hope you enjoyed the video. At the end, I'm gonna have a full jar lid playlist. So if you wanna see other color combinations and other styles, and please, if you're not subscribed and you're watching this, please subscribe, hit the bell, and all you'll get all my latest art tutorials. And stay tuned. This Thursday, I'm in a Thanksgiving collaboration with Aisha's Crafty Kids Club and nine other artists. Everyone take care, and we'll see you next time.